I came in and I told you, like, I just want to pass weigh-ins. And you were like, you gotta, you know, you can step it up from that. And I've got the knowledge I need to be able to continue to do that. Um, and if I want to push it, I know how to. But so then that I definitely feel like we reached the goal and more. I kind of expected almost this to be kind of like a more just like a get myself in shape and then like be on my own, try to figure it out. But the program actually really helps, you know. With, with the knowledge side of it. It's not just like, it's not just you pushing me to work out and follow a diet. It's you pushing me to work out, follow a diet and explain how that stuff makes a difference and show me how it makes a difference in the way we record it. What's good fam, Clark here from All Fall Kinetics. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Level Up series. Appreciate you guys stopping by. In the previous vlog, we covered a pull training session. If you haven't seen that video, pause this one and go check it out right now. I'll leave the link in the description. In this video, we'll be tackling a leg training session covering the best tips, techniques, and training hacks I've used during their great results for myself as well as my clients. For those who you stick around as per usual, we'll leave some free resource material at the very end that'll help you to optimize the results you're after. So do stay tuned. Without further ado, Let's get it. Okay, so the three main muscles we're going to be focusing on are our quads, honing in on its basic functions, which are knee extension and hip flexion. Our hammies, also known as hamstrings, honing in on knee flexion. And finally, our calf muscle, honing in on plantar flexion. In other words, pointing your toes downwards as seen in the video. And lastly, we're also going to squeeze in some glute action with an emphasis on hip extension. Now this is obviously just a basic overview, so if you'd like to see a more detailed anatomical and biomechanic breakdown, just drop it in the comments down below. Okay, so we're going to kick things off with two to four acclimation sets just to get our motor unit primed up and build that mind to muscle connection with the first muscle group we're going to target, which are our quads. This will pretty much set the tone for our first exercise, which is going to be barbell front squats. You can either use the barbell clean transition that I use here in the video to get the workload to the starting position, or you can opt for a more safer option, which is using a barbell rack or using two boxes to get the barbell elevated. That way you have an easier, more smooth transition to the starting position. There's also a lot of variation of how to hold the weight. I won't go too much in depth with that in this video, but if you want a more detailed overview on that, just let me know in the comments below and I will tackle that video for you. The second exercise is going to be the infamous barbell hip thrust, which is a glute focused exercise. What you want to do is put yourself in a starting position as seen in the video. I try to make sure the bench is stabilized by putting an object behind it. Otherwise, you might run into the problem of your bench moving away from you while you're trying to optimize your progression or workload. Another training tip or hack to optimize a specific movement is try to keep your upper torso at a fixed position. What I do is make sure my sternum is stabilized by locking in on an object directly in front of me um, or on the wall rather than staring at the ceiling and keeping my head vertical, if that makes sense. That way I'm honing in on the thrust and optimizing a good mind to muscle connection and effectively engaging my glutes or peaches. <laughs> Next up, we have our first superset for this training session. Superset meaning there should be no rest in between this and the subsequent exercise. I also found out that this exercise was new to a lot of my clients. So if you currently have this exercise in your leg training regimen, please let me know down below. The first part of the superset is going to be kettlebell front rack step. If you don't have kettlebells, feel free to use dumbbell what you want is an elevated platform as seen in the video you're going to step up on the platform one limb at a time it is a quad focus exercise while you're eliciting resistance on one limb you're emphasizing or optimizing hip flexion with the other limb at the same time you're also recruiting some engagement from your core for overall stability after this, we're not going to take any rest rolling right into the second part of this superset, which is going to be dumbbell goblet squat. As far as foot placement goes, I have my feet placed a little more than shoulder width apart. Just be cognizant of the fact that the wider your stance, the more of the hammies and glutes you're going to recruit. It is still a quad dominant exercise. 
rolling right into the next exercise. Exercise number four is going to be elevated barbell reverse lunges. These bad boys are going to tackle your quads, hamstrings, as well as glutes. What you want to avoid doing is trying to step too far backwards. You might feel like you're optimizing the hinge movement, but that could also throw off your overall stability. On the other hand, you want to try to avoid cutting your lunge too short because that could put unnecessary stress on your joints. So a good rule of thumbs is making sure you're not lunging directly onto the elevated platform with the knee going downwards. Make sure they're close to 90 degrees angles and both knees that are bending. And then a quicker, easy way is just making sure it feels natural. If it doesn't feel natural, it feels like your stability is offset, then try doing it with the body weight first to get an optimal step or lunge backwards and then work your way up with workload. Exercise number five is going to be a hamstring focused exercise. We're going to perform medicine ball curls. So you're gonna position yourself as seen in the video with a medicine ball or a stability ball and use your body weight to perform hamstring curls. Now take away your pointers for this specific exercise, just making sure you're trying to optimize dorsiflexion, that is simply lifting the forward portion of our feet upwards in effort to seclude unnecessary engagement of the calf muscle. Remember our primary focus is our hammies. Having said that, we're still listening a little time under tension to our glutes. While performing this exercise, we're also recruiting overall stability from our core. Exercise number six, the final exercise for this training session, is going to be a calf focus exercise. I pretty much position myself with the specific layout. I have an elevated platform. I put the forward portion of my feet on the platform. I'm seated as seen in a video. And then I use dumbbells as the resistance to put it on my knee to perform calf raises as seen in a video. It's a pretty simple setup. You could also perform this movement standing. Obviously, the only difference would be you'd be holding the dumbbells on your side with both hands. You'd have the same setup with your feet, you know, just have your heels hanging off the platform. In this case, I'm using a 45 pound plate. You could also substitute this exercise with a calf machine if you have any at your gym, as long as you have control over relative loading. That way you could actually track your progression on a week to week basis. And that's pretty much all she wrote. Listen, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Show your boy some love. The support goes a long way. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, just drop it down below. I'll get back to you ASAP. If you don't have any questions, comments, or concerns, my question to you is, what is your favorite leg exercise? Love to hear back from you, even if it's an exercise not included in this specific training video. Bonus free material. I will lay out everything we covered in this video on a free downloadable file. You can snag that down below. Let me know if you enjoy it. Let me know if it's something you find useful. That way I am sure to include it in subsequent videos. Speaking about subsequent videos, you don't want to miss the next one. So turn on that notification bell. I'm looking forward to seeing you in that video. It's going to be a game changer. Until next time, peace.